Good afternoon guys, it's James and welcome back to the channel for another video. This is the Transporter T6. We're always doing audio and um, sound, well, audio is sound. We're always doing navigation audio upgrades to these, but because the weather's starting to turn cold, this particular vehicle has come down for the Webasto um, heater upgrade. Now, if you've got a T5.1 or a T6, look on your driver's door card. And the reason why I say that is if you open the driver's door, just before you get in, there's a sticker on the driver's door shunt. Uh, and on there will tell you if you've got a Webasto heater. Take a picture, send it over to us, and we'll check to see what heater you've got and whether we can interact with it. So this customer's come down from North London and has a Webasto heater, and what we've done is we've just given him remote access. So all I need to do is I press and hold this button for three seconds like so. The Webasto oil heater, diesel heater, will start to spool up and after a few minutes, we'll turn on the climate control, which actually in this vehicle is a manual climate control, so it's the base level. It doesn't matter which one you've got, as long as you haven't got the twisty knobs with the cable, is that it has to be climate control, um, but this one hasn't got the digital display. So which means that we interact with that with the relay, the climate control comes on, starts blowing through the windscreen, as long as you've set it to hot air, um, and the windscreen mode, and then you'll be able to smell that beautiful aeroplane fuel, which that's what it smells like, it's ever so strange, and it's just the diesel heater spooling up, uh, and then you can get into your van 20 minutes later, and hopefully snow and ice and everything else is defrosted, and you're in a nice warm vehicle. Now, if Matt can come over with a camera, you might just be able to be able to hear. So the actual heater itself, if we creep, creep down or crouch down to where the vehicle is here, Matt might need to come in a little bit with the microphone. And it basically sounds that we've all been on an aeroplane. If you haven't, then I'm sorry. But as the plane is about to get onto the runway and take off, this is what happens. This is the, the motor spooling up now. And as it's spooling up now, it's picking up diesel from the diesel tank, feeding it through, the flames igniting it, and then underneath here, it's working its magic to be able to blow warm air out through the heater. Now, on, on this particular video up on the screen above me now is um, a picture that Matt's gonna put up of the climate control. There's no display, as I said, because this is the manual, but it does illuminate at night, which means it just to say that it's got power and it's on. Uh, and that's it, so the Webasto is on now, and of course you can't really tell because I'm just putting my hand on the air vents here, but I can feel nice warm air coming out on the windscreen vent as it is. So if you've got a T5.1 or you've got a T6 uh, and you want the Webasto remote control upgrade, send us a contact form, we'll check compatibility and give you a price so that you can have one of these on your key ring and from the comfort of your home or office, you can set your van to be a nice cozy temperature ready for your journey. Anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, tell your friends and family, thanks for watching and the website is www.advanced-incar.co.uk.